All right, first up this morning, we're thankful our next guest is here because recently she had a little scare on an airplane. I did too. Yeah. Going did you? to Phoenix. Were you yeah. on the same airplane? No, no. I we were. Did you too. go to Phoenix? No, no. It, I was okay. coming from Raleigh, Durham, and all of a sudden we heard this bang, and then we we just sort of steadied. We It was like somebody had pulled on the parking brake on the plane and then burning smell. Oh. Uh-uh. Yeah. You and smelled something burning? Oh, yeah. Everybody's in flight? In flight, and everybody's yelling, um, can you smell the burning? Can you smell the burning? But the flight attendants have to stay seated till the pilot tells them it's an emergency. And then while we were landing, th this little girl behind me says, Mom, it smells like your green beans in here. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? it? A duck had flown into the engine, completely shut down one of the engines. We had to turn around, emergency landing, you know, fire trucks, everything, and it was very scary. You That's why you don't fly in a plane. We had an emergency oh, landing. Oh, yeah, that would not go yeah. over well with me. Well, luckily, um, the, 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 the con that I was going to had paid for me to fly first class, so they had already served drinks in the first class cabin, so we were that like... <laughs> that You're helps. like, hey, everything is fine. Happy birthday. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's yeah. it's yeah. a little yeah. tiny this drink. Is so cute. Look at this A little, little Prosecco. Oh, yeah. oh, that is so cute. That is I not enough. That. Yeah, I, I figured that. So I am 31 I, now. Yeah. <laughs> I supplemented oh, it with a little, because you're a star. That is a little awesome. Salt and pepper oh, thank stars. you very much. You're I'm going to use them as a wand, though, I'll Good. show. Well, Dave yes. told me, I, cameraman Dave said I couldn't bring you a book because he wasn't sure you could read. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends on where there are pictures in it. I do like cartoons. Yeah. That is awesome. Happy I would have been birthday. thankful for a cartoon book, and you've got books that you're thankful I, for. Do you um, like that segue? That's How a very that? nice now segue. Now I'm going to move awesome. the show on. She is getting good. <laughs> awesome, awesome. The first book is... Is, um, it's inconceivable that you would not like this first book. Okay. It's, it's the um, it's about um, the making of the Princess Bride, which oh, is okay. celebrating its 25th anniversary this year. Can you believe as this? As you wish. As and you wish. This is by your friend Carrie Elwes. Yes, he is. I'm, Carrie and I have been at a bunch of book conventions and comic conventions together, and we just really hit it off. We both grew up in Britain at the same time. But this book is all the backstories, the funny stories, the accidents that happened on set. It's, it's it's so charming and lovely, and it's got the um, all the famous lines from the book and how they've were, how they produced them, and it, it's just a wonderful, wonderful book. That's inconceivable fantastic. that you wouldn't like it. Inconceivable. Yes, uh, yeah, because yes. it's called As You Wish: Inconceivable Tales from the Making of the mm -hmm. Princess Bride. Yes, a lot of people love that movie. It kind of became yeah. a, a cult classic. It I mean, still just is something that, and still is. People love, love it. seeing it and quoting it. You hear I people know. quote it all the time. Well, yes, my name is in Inigo Montoya. You killed <laughs> you my. Kill my Father, yeah. prepare to die. <laughs> prepare to die. Now you see, you do better. Awesome. Prepare you, to wait, die. Yeah, you do it way better than I do. Mine sounded like a bad Scottish accent. <laughs> I know. Prepare to die. Yeah, right. So I it's like just, Braveheart. The, the next book we're talking about is by Stephen King, and I just heard him on the Today Show, I want to say a week ago, I think he was talking about Revival, his new book, and he said on TV that he believed in, he believes in God. It's interesting, if you read this book, I, you know, there is a very, very scary, this is the scariest book, I think, and I think it's his most personal, so it doesn't surprise me that he is going on talk shows talking about his belief in the afterlife, because that's, I don't want to give anything away, but you will be shocked, hmm. um, in, in a good way, because you're reading a horror story, but kind of shocked to think how he Im imagined that, and if he really does believe in this sort of afterlife, I'm trying yeah. not to do spoilers. Yeah, I'm trying not to give anything away. On the Today Show, I mean, on national TV, he said that, and and it was a surprise to I can't remember if it's Matt Lauer in well, it, but it was a surprise. I think if you read this book, which I loved, and I really do think it's very personal. There's a lot of connections between Stephen King's life and the narrator. The narrator is a 60 year old man reflecting on his life. He's had a leg injury that Stephen mm. King has had. He's surviving. He's a he's a recovering addict, which for various reasons we've heard publicly that Stephen. King early in his life was. So and it's so very much him. I, it's hard for me to read this book and not see a lot of King in the narrator. And then you get to this ending, and it's like it really creeps up on you. The book's a slow burn, I call it. Okay. A really slow burn. You would hate it. Oh, because okay. I know you don't like those kind of books. No, and I don't like those kind of movies. And it's right. scary. I wouldn't like it either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think anyone who's a Stephen King fan, I've been kind of hard on him the last mm -hmm. two books I've reviewed, but I think this is one of his best. It's really well written and 
Oof, I'm getting okay. chills just thinking Whoa. about his wow. ending. Right. We yeah. ran out of time to talk about your last one. We'll just say what it is, The 14th Goldfish by Jennifer Holm. And it's a, it's a children's book. Um, mm -hmm. It'll be a great book to read to kids, and it's about family legacies. It's, it's a wonderful story. A little girl thinks she sees her grandfather as a fifth-grade boy. She thinks he's really? come back as a fifth grade boy. Cute. It's a cute story. Oh, I highly recommend that's it. That's great. And that kind of makes you believe in the impossible, it, sort of. Yeah, and it's about family legacies and friendships and that anything is possible. It's Love a that. really nice book. That's okay. great. Did you open the champagne? No, oh, not, not yet. yet. I'm right. still blessing it. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> Here's how you can reach Carol. She answers viewer questions all the time because she's just good that way. She's awesome. <laughs> CarolBarrowman.com, and Carol is with an E. She's also on Facebook, she's on Twitter, and Goodread as well. Great to see you. Nice as to see you. Glad so to Thank you. Safely. We did land safely thanks to really good pilots. Good. Yeah, I told my pilot as we were leaving, you need more practice <laughs> because we were going to land and then took off again. And I oh. said, you need more practice, I think. <laughs> That's yeah. A good point. All right.